Hello ladies and gentlemen on YouTube. Okay, this is my second video. It has taken forever, but what the heck. This one is gonna be on a Midwest jerry can uh, that I purchased from Harbor Freight Tools. Uh, several other businesses sell this can, including Amazon and a few others online. Prices range from, uh, in my case, $34 up. <clears throat> so, we're going to talk a little bit about this can. And uh, hopefully you will hear something that will assist you in uh, making a determination as to whether or not you want to purchase such of a can. Okay, let's talk about the construction of the can. I don't know what gauge, how thick this is. Uh, I called the manufacturer and asked them, and unfortunately, the customer representatives that I got a hold of did not know. There was no information on the can. Let's see if you can see the tag here. That says anything about construction. Nor does it say what country it was made in. Uh, no phone number to the manufacturer or anything. <clears throat> this is the back. Okay. Anyhow, <clears throat> let's get into the rest of it. Here you can see the wells on this can, which actually look pretty good. Doesn't go all the way through, but you know, obviously they're well done. That's the other side. Here's the back and the top. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the bottom. On the sides. Okay. Now, as you know, these are the strengthening ribs. Let's bring it back a little here. And it's all in all looks pretty sturdy. Uh, I do have some issues with the construction. One is how the two pieces here were welded together. Let me show you. When this unit is placed on the ground or laid down and slid on either side, you want it to be smooth. This all should be flush and the welded seams here in the middle should not be protruding from the can. Obviously, when you look at the wells, you'll notice that I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that it was hand welded. It's not really a good job. I highly doubt that a machine did this. It's possible, but I just doubt it. When you see the can, you can make your own conclusion. I went through all three cans at the store, and then I went to a second store and looked at their cans, and all of them had the same attributes. All of them, in certain areas, the wells protruded the flushness of the can. Let's show you here, see if you can hear this. I'm gonna use a straight edge. Right here, you hear one. Hear that? Okay. So as you know, what happens is, in time, this thing wearing on the ground or in the back of your car or, or truck or wherever, it's going to wear right through that well, and gas is going to start leaking out. That's not a good thing. Now, it could actually be pressed and welded deeper, but I'm going to err on the side of caution here and say that it probably isn't. When I talked to the company, they told me that these were made in Illinois. Uh, there's no reference to it that I found on the website, nor is there any reference to made in the USA on the can. And to me, that's a big issue. I like to buy products, even though I have to pay a little more for them. I like to buy them here in the USA because I like to 
keep the money at home, if you know what I mean. Make sure that our brothers and sisters in this country can eat and work and take care of their families and uh, allow other countries to take care of them, them, their own. Anyhow, uh, I have issues with that. Let's see, what else? Ah, here, also, the can rocks. Now, I've seen jerry cans when I was in the service, and believe me, uh, when they sit flush on the ground, they sit flush on the ground. They don't rock. So, in looking at the bottom as to why this one rocks, we have two issues. One, same thing here. It hits the weld. Two, there's a little dent right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. We'll give you one shot at it. Okay, maybe if the reflection is right, you can see that in there. I think right there. So, that's not really good. Uh, let's see. Back to construction. Well, inside, on the side of these two seams, you can see uh, where the, they didn't clean up all of the splatter after the wells. And, you know... <laughs> I'd like to see it cleaned up, even though, let's face it, it's not a real big thing, but you know, it is there. It just, to me, shows the level of a person's concern and perfectionism. But, you know, it's his can, he can do it the way he wants. When you buy it, see a little tab here that you'll take off. You'll just completely take it off. This cap is plastic. It's pretty rigid, pretty strong. I don't know how long it'll last, but I'm gonna say maybe a little while. This is a part of the locking mechanism that I'll show you on the can momentarily. This is actually a seal over a piece of plastic here, like that. So this is to prevent the gas from coming out once the spout is out. Now on this can, here, let me put this on, then we'll take the spout out. Okay. Uh, come on. Okay, let's get that on there. We'll get back to that. This is the spout. We have another seal here. The way this is supposed to work is that when you put this on to your gas tank, that little hook will go right on the lip. You'll press it. Let's take the cap off. You'll press it, and the gas will come out. Now, it does have a hole in here for a burp control, so you won't hear it guzzle, gloop, gloop, gloop. You won't hear that. Okay, and it should flow pretty good. I haven't tested it yet, but we're going to do that in a moment. So that's the way this works. <clears throat> Once this is full with gas, it has your full mark here on top. <clears throat> this is to be stored over here. It is not to go back into the can for storage. Okay. <clears throat> so once it's full, you take your plastic hucky puck, I guess, with the rubber seal around it place it inside the lid or just place it right on here screw your lid down okay now off the bat i can tell that we're going to have some issues here is the locking mechanism whereas this is supposed to be locked at this point and it shouldn't be leaking but you can tell how loose it is it's going to leak I have no doubt about it. So, you have to crank it down further. Okay. Now, it shouldn't leak, but from everything that I read and after talking to the company, it may very well. That's because when you crank down on this top, it pinches the seal and in some cases just rubs it and tears it and breaks it so it's gonna leak so that's something that when I test it we'll see if it leaks I think I have a fix for it 
So we'll go back to that. Oh, by the way, when you go to buy them, make sure that the locking tab here is straight. In looking at the others at the store, some of them were crooked. Some of them were too far back. You know, don't waste your time having to make another trip. Take a look at that. That's important if you're going to use the locking mechanism. Long story short, you're going to have to find somewhere to store this. It, uh, this guy is going to hold it, but just, just not firmly. You can wrestle with it if you want and force it in there. Uh, and it'll hold it somewhat, but if you're stacking cans on top, you can pretty much forget it. Uh, it's just a, a design for a um, normal or a professional or a real jerry can spout that has to be clamped down. This is just mimicking the same design. Um, I don't know. Maybe they just put it on there just to uh, make us happy that you know it looks like a real jerry can so let's move on from here okay i don't know if i mentioned it earlier but the can weighs eight pounds 12 ounces empty so uh if you need to know the weight for any reason there you are uh let's see what else about the top okay let's go over here as i said earlier the spout let's put it back together is supposed to be stored here when this can is full. Now we have a problem here and uh, I'm sure the company doesn't know it uh, or they probably do know and just don't care. Uh, the lady I talked to at the phone in the company had no idea. She just said that it goes in here. Uh, but the problem is this. Watch it closely and carefully. Problem number one, it won't go any further than that. It doesn't line up here. We can twist and turn, doesn't line up. Can you see that well? Okay, let's see if we can go closer. Ah, that should be better. Okay, it's not lining up here. Okay, so it's still loose. Let's put it in backwards. All right, I guess you guys can see that this isn't gonna work. Okay. I put about a gallon of gas into the can and now we're going to see if it leaks as you can see let's see if I can get it into the picture here we have the locking mechanism on let's see if I can do it this way yeah you see it right here you see how the plastic part locks right into the clip there okay so let's turn it over and let's see at that position if we get any leakage. And we do. Very quickly. Okay, it's also sucking air. So, as you can see, that's not going to work. Let's tighten the top up a little and try it again. Okay. As you see, see if you can see that. Here, I've over tightened the cap so that now the locking mechanism is here when it should be here. This is the actual divot here for the locking mechanism. So that's, that's bearing down on it pretty good. Let's see if that helps if it still leaks. I'm going to have a garage that smells like gas. Okay, so far so good. No leaks. So bearing down on it does work. However, don't forget this seal. There's not much to it. It's pretty thin. I could see it easily ripping after you do this several times. Okay. Let's take a break here and turn it over. Here, let's test the pouring feature 
And let's see if it leaks at all. First of all, by turning it over. Okay, so far no leaks, which is good. Now, let's actually see how it pours. No gurgles. It actually pours pretty good. Hmm. No leaks. Let's see if we can take it out and witness the flow. Well, it's about empty now, but it's the way it comes out. I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to make too much of a mess. Okay. It's not the fastest in the world, but it does work. And uh, no mess. Well, I have to say I'm a little impressed with that one. Okay, boys and girls, I really can't think of anything else that uh, I can say about this can um, so I guess I can just give my opinion which as you know what they say about opinions but uh, in either case it should help you make a decision on whether or not to buy this can I just thought of something the can does not come in any other colors outside of red um, so if you want a different color for different fuels or camouflaged or what have you, uh, you're going to have to paint it yourself. So with that said, personally, I bought this can for uh, to be used around the house as uh, emergency backup fuel. Uh, honestly... I probably wouldn't do much else with it. Uh, it does not appear to be rugged enough for me to put in the back of a truck and, you know, take on a, I don't know, a bug out trip or even camping, you know. Uh, I'm just not comfortable with it myself. Uh, there are things that you can do to uh, make it uh, a little more reliable, I would say. Maybe I'll make another video and uh, list those things to show you what I plan on doing or in order to strengthen the can so that uh, in an emergency I may have to take it somewhere and I can be comfortable not worrying about seals breaking or fuel being spilt all over the car. Uh, anyhow, I think that's going to do it. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, Please like if uh, you found it helpful. If you have some suggestions, maybe you own a can like it, please post them down below so the rest of us can learn from it. And uh, best wishes on whatever can you decide is going to work for you. Take care.